In this video, we will discuss how we can flatten a binary tree into a linked list. So given this binary tree, we have to convert it into a linked list. So the order of the nodes will be the same as the pre-order traversal of this binary tree. So pre-order traversal is root, left and then right. So the pre-order traversal of this tree is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So we have to keep this order and we have to flatten this binary tree. So you can see in the flattened tree, all the left nodes are null. So we have to find an algorithm that flattens any binary tree. So this can be done by various methods. We'll discuss three methods here. So first we'll discuss the recursive method. So whenever we have a question in which we have to change the links of the tree, then our go-to choice of the traversal is post-order traversal. Because in post-order, first we traverse left, then we traverse right, and at the last, we process the root. So once the left and the right are already processed, then we can change the root node. So this is very convenient when we want to change the links because we can go in the bottom-up manner. So if this is a tree, we have already solved this part, and then we'll fix the upper part. So in usually these kind of questions, post order is the obvious choice. But here as we saw, all of the left nodes are null. So here instead of doing left right root, we can process the tree as right left and root. So for each of the nodes, first we'll fix the right subtree. And when we have processed the right subtree, we can set the left node as null and then we can process the root node. So here the traversal choice is the right left and root. So this can be thought of as reverse post order traversal. Now let's see the algorithm for this. So we keep a variable previous which will keep track of the previous node. So we have this function flatten in which the first node passed will be the root node. We check if it is null. Then we call this flatten function for the right of A. So right of A is E. So the node becomes E. Then we check if it is null and then we again go to the right of E, which is F. For F, we check this if condition, then we process right of F, which is null. When the node is null, we return from here. So now we have to call the left of F, which is G. So now the node is G. We call this flatten function for the right of G, which is null. So this if condition will return from here. Then we call for the left of G which is null. So this function call will also return. And now we have to set right of G as null. So because previous was null. And we set left of G also as null. And we set previous as node G. Now the function call to G ends. So we go back to F. So now the node is F. So now we have to set right of F as previous, which is G. And we set left of f as null. So we'll break this link. So left of f will be null. And then we set previous equal to f. Now the function called to f ends and we go back to node e. We set right of e as f. So this is already the same. We do not have to change anything. Then we set left of e as null. So this is already null. And then we set previous equal to node E. So we are fixing the tree in the bottom up manner. So now we go to node A. For node A, we have to call this function flatten for the left of A. So left of A is B. So node is B now. We check if B is null. Then we call this flatten function for the right of B, which is D. So node is D. We check if it is null. And then we call this flatten function for the right of D, which is null. So this function call will return because right of D is null. Then we call for the left of D, which is also null. So this function call will also return. And now we set right of D to E. So right of D will be E. And left of D is null. So this is already the same. And then we set previous equal to D. And now the function called to D ends. So we go back to B. And now for B, we have to call the left subtree. 
So we go till C. So now the node is C. We check if it is null. Then we call for the right and left subtree of C, which is null. So this function call returns. And then we set right of C as previous, which is D. So right of C becomes D. And then we set left of C as null. So this is already the same. And we set previous equal to node, which is C. Now the function call to C ends. So we go back to B. So now the node is B and we have to set right of B as C. So this link will break and right of B will be pointing to C. And left of B will be set to null. So this link will break and then we set previous equal to node B. Then the function call to B ends, we go back to A. And now we have to set right of A as B. So right of A will point to node B and left of A will be null. So this link will break and previous will be set to node A. So now the function call terminates. So if we redraw this tree, so the root node is A, the right of A is pointing to B, right of B is pointing to C, right of C is pointing to D, right of D is pointing to E, right of E is pointing to F and right of F is pointing to G. So this is the flattened version of this binary tree. So we have solved this from the bottom up manner. So first we fix the right subtree, then we set the left to null. So in this manner we go from the bottom towards up. If we look at the time complexity of this program, the time complexity is order of n. So now this can also be done via iterative method. So let's see the second method by which we can flatten the tree. So this method is similar to the first method, but here instead of using the system stack, we'll use a explicit stack. So let's see the algorithm. So we create a stack and we push root node. So we push root node A in it. Then we have this while loop which we run till the stack is not empty. We check top of the stack. So current becomes equal to A. Then we pop from the stack. So the stack becomes empty. Then we check right of A. So right of A is E. So we push E on the stack. Then we check left of A. So left of A is B. So we push B on the stack. Then we check if stack is not empty. We set right of current equal to the stack top. So stack top is B. So right of A becomes B. So this link breaks and right of A points to B. And we set left of A to null. So this link will also break. In the next iteration, we set current to top of the stack, which is B. Then we pop from the stack. So we remove the top element. We check right of B, which is node D. So we push D on the stack. We check left of B, which is C. So we push C on the stack. We check if stack is not empty. Then we set right of B to the top of stack, which is C. So right of B points to C. And then we set left of C to null. So this link also breaks. In the next iteration, current becomes equal to top of stack, which is C. Then we pop from the stack. So we remove the top element C. Then we check right of C, which is null. So this if condition is false. And the left of C is also null. So this if condition is also false. Then we check if stack is not empty. We set right of C to the top of stack D. So right of C now points to node D. And we set left of C to null. In the next iteration, current becomes equal to top of the stack, which is D. Then we pop from the stack. We check right of D. So right of D is null. So this if condition is false. And left of D is also null. So this if condition is also false. Then we check if stack is not empty. We set right of D to the top of stack, which is E. So right of D now points to E. 
in the next iteration current becomes equal to top of stack which is e then we pop from the stack then we check right of e which is f so we push f on the stack we check left of e which is null so this if condition is false then the stack is not empty so we set right of e to the top of stack f so this is already set and then we set left of e to null so this is already there in the next iteration current becomes equal to top of the stack which is f then we pop from the stack then we check right of f which is null so this if condition is false we check left of f which is g so we push g on the stack then we check if stack is not empty right of f becomes equal to top of stack g so right of f points to g and we set left of f to null so this link breaks then we check top of the stack which is g so current becomes g we pop from the stack so the stack becomes empty we check right of g which is null so this if condition is false then we check left of g so this is also null so this if condition is also false so now the stack is empty so this if condition is also false and we set left of g to null in the next iteration the stack is empty so this while loop terminates if we redraw the tree we can see that root node is a right of a is pointing to b right of b is pointing to c right of c is pointing to d right of d is pointing to e right of e is f and right of f is pointing to g and the left pointers of all the nodes is null so using stack also we can flatten the binary tree the time complexity of this method is also order of n but here the space complexity is also order of n because of the use of this explicit stack so now let's see the third method in which we do not use recursion and we do not use a stack so in this method the time complexity is order of n and the space complexity is order of 1 so you will find this quite similar to the morris order traversal that we have discussed earlier let's see the algorithm we keep a variable current which we initially point to the root node we run this while loop till the current is not equal to null we come inside we check left of current which is b so previous becomes b and now we go to the right of b till we reach a null so we go till d so previous is now d so right of current is e so we set e to the right of previous so right of d will point to e then left of a is b so we set right of a equal to b so right of a becomes b so we have broken this link then we set left of current as null so here we have broken this link and after this we go to the right of current so right of current is now pointing to b because we have created this new link from right of a to b so current is now b so here what we are doing is we are finding the predecessor of the nodes if we write the pre-order traversal it is this so for node e the predecessor is node d so here we found the predecessor and we joined them and then we set the left subtree as null so we'll keep doing that for all the nodes so that is the logic behind this iterative method now in the next iteration we check left of b previous becomes node c we keep going right of c till we encounter a null so right of c is null so this while loop terminates and then we set right of previous to d so we are linking c to d so in the next step we set right of b to c so right of b will now point to node c and then we set left of c to null so we will break this link after this we go to the right of b which is node c 
because we have created a new link from node B to node C. So current will be now C. In the next iteration, we check left of C. So left of C is null. So this if condition is false. And now we go to the right of C, which is node D. In the next iteration, we check left of D. So left of D is null. So we go to the right of D, which is node E. Now in the next iteration, we check left of E. So left of E is null. So this if condition is false, we go to the right of E, which is F. So current is F. In the next iteration, we check left of F, which is G. So previous becomes G. We go to right of G till we encounter a null. So this while loop terminates because right of G is null. So we set right of G to null. After this, we set G to the right of F. So we'll create a link from right of F to G. And then we set left of F to null. So we will break this link. And then current becomes right of F which is G. In the next iteration, we check left of G. So left of G is null. This if condition is false. We set current to the right of G. So current becomes null. In the next iteration, we check this while condition. So current is equal to null. So this while loop terminates. And we have flattened the tree. So let's redraw it. So root node is A. Right of A is pointing to B. Right of B is pointing to C. Right of C is pointing to D. Right of D is pointing to E. E is pointing to F and F is pointing to G. The left pointer of each of the nodes is null. So this is the third method of flattening the binary tree. So here the time complexity is order of n and the space complexity is order of 1. So this is quite an efficient method to flatten the binary tree. Now once you've understood all these methods, let's have a look at the implementation. All the source code that I'll be showing is available in my GitHub repository. Link of that is available here and as well as in the description. Now let's have a look at the code. So in the main function, I've created this tree. The root node is A. The left of A is B. In this manner, I've initialized all the nodes of the tree. Then I call this function flatten recursive in which I pass the root node. In this function, I first check if the root is null, then I return. Then I call this function recursively for the right and the left subtree. I set right of node to the previous and the left part becomes null. And then I adjust the previous to the root. So after this function ends, the tree would have been flattened. So to print the flattened tree, I print the in order and the post order traversal of the tree. Let's see the output of this program. So the in order traversal is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And the post order traversal is G, F, E, D, C, B, A. Now second method which used a stack. So in this function, I create a stack in which I pass the root node. Then I run this while loop till the stack is not empty. I put the top of the stack in the current variable. Then I pop from the stack. Then I check right and left of the stack. So here I'm pushing the right before the left part because when we pop from the stack, we want the left part first. So we push the right first and then we push the left. So the left one will be on the top. Then I adjust the right of the current to the top of the stack and the left part to the null. And in the third method, which is similar to the Morris traversal, I set current to the root. Then I run this while loop till current is not equal to null. I check the left of the current. I find the predecessor of the current node. Then I set the right of current to the right of previous and the left of current to the right of current and the left of current becomes null. And then I go in the right subtree. So the output of this program is the same. In order is A, B, C, D, F, G and the post order is G, F, E, D, C, B, A. So that was all for this video. If you have any doubts or suggestions, please leave in the comment section below. If you like my content, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. It really motivates me to make more such content. And until next time, this is Sandeep Thapar signing off.